With the release of the new iOS 26, we can now customize the device more than ever before. So in today's video, I will show you guys five different setups that you can easily recreate on your iOS 26 device, make your device look really cool and of course, way different from other devices. Now, before we get into all that, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. I've noticed that most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the videos and you find them helpful, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel a lot. And we're starting with the first one. You can see we have a really nice clean setup right here and it's very easy to recreate. Now, what I've chosen to do with this setup is that I have basically like a grayish wallpaper right there that makes it look really, really clean. And then I have the icons, which I'm using with the dark mode for the icons, which basically makes these colors of the icons and the widget pop up really a lot here on this gray background. So it's really easy to recreate. First of all, of course, you have to set the wallpaper, which I will leave linked right down below in the description of the video. So every wallpaper that you see on these setups will be right there. So I have added the wallpaper. Then we have four different icons right here. Of course, you can choose your own icons. And then I have added this widget from the app called Widgy, which is really amazing. And now they have been updated for iOS 26 and you can see how cool this looks. Now, let me show you guys how to add this widget first. As you can see, it does have a transparent background, which makes it look really, really nice. So first of all, before adding the widget, you have to install the widget app. Of course, I will leave it also linked right down below in the description of the video. Once you have the app installed, all you have to do is go to your home screen after you have set the wallpaper, just tap and hold here to go to the edit mode. Then swipe here where you will have a blank page like this. Take a screenshot of that page and now open the widget app. And on the app here, what you need to do is go to manage and then go to setup transparency. You tap here, it will show you this page. Just tap here and here and load the screenshot you just took. Now you will have to do this every time you change your wallpaper. For every setup that you're using a widget from Widget and you want it to be transparent, then you will have to do this process by taking a screenshot of the wallpaper. And then of course you add the widget and just apply it to your home screen. Now I will leave this exact widget also linked in the description of the video. And it is pretty cool because it has this home page right here where it shows you the current weather and the date and the time, but also has other things. If you tap right there, you can see you can actually interact with the widget. So you can go here to your calendar. You can go here to reminders, maybe the weather or your basically your stats right here. It is pretty cool. You can go right here to the info about your device. You can see how good that is. And of course, then you will have the home that you just saw right there. So it is pretty cool and it makes the home screen really pop up and look way different. Talking about clean setups, this is probably one of the easiest setups to create and it looks really, really clean. Now, what I'm using here are, of course, a few icons here at the bottom and then a widget right there from an app called Mojo. It also will be linked, of course, in the description of the video. Now, what's really cool about this app is that once you have added the widget, all you have to do is just tap on edit widget and just choose transparent right here. As you can see, it just moves the transparent as easy as that. You don't have to do the wallpaper trick or anything, it just becomes transparent as easy as that. Now, what I'm doing here is a couple of things to basically achieve this look. So you don't need to apply any wallpaper any wallpaper you have is good to go. Just first of all, tap the edit button right here and go to edit wallpaper. Now with iOS 26, you probably know that you can edit the home screen wallpaper directly from here. So go here and tap on color. And from here, you can just go ahead and pick any color you like and set it, of course, as the background for your home screen. And then mm -hmm. head on to the customization section right here and choose the clear icons. And I also have chosen, of course, the bigger icon so that it removes the labels from the icons. And just notice that when you choose clear, this will be enabled by automatically darkening your wallpaper. So just tap there to remove that 
and you will have this really cool look. Now just notice that when you pick the color here for your wallpaper, if we go to edit wallpaper once again, it might not look that good with the icons, it might be a different shade like you can see right here with this yellow color, but then you will have the slider right here that allows us to basically adjust the color of the wallpaper right there and make it look exactly the same as the icons and get a really nice clean look on your home screen. Next up is this really beautiful setup with this colorful nature wallpaper. I really like to use these kind of wallpapers because it makes the liquid glass icons and the widgets actually look really really cool now it's very simple all you have to do here is just apply this wallpaper again will be linked right down below in the description of the video head on to the edit button go to customize choose the clear icons and make sure you have removed the tint from the wallpaper right here now what we're doing here is also adding like at the bottom right here a widget again from the widget app that now you will have to do the process of taking a screenshot of the wallpaper just like i showed you guys on the first setup you take this screenshot and load it into the widget app to get this transparent look and then add the widget of course you can choose any widget you want there if you go to the widget app you can explore here whether you want to use a medium small or bigger widget you can just go ahead and explore here a ton of widgets and just add them right there into the app and then of course apply them to the home screen it is that simple to create this one we have a few icons right here. you can also place icons right there at the top if you want to just fill that gap right there it makes it look really really colorful and actually really different from other setups now here is another really cool very simple setup and it looks really really clean now what we're using here is just a simple widget from widget the clock and the weather right there at the top with the transparent background of course and we're using the icons on the dark mode and the wallpaper is just a white color which of course you can set from the edit wallpaper section right here so first of all any wallpaper that you have set it doesn't matter you just go to edit the wallpaper tap on color and choose the white color right there then all you have to do is go to the edit button go to right here customize choose the dark icons this will be enabled make sure you disable it right there and choose the bigger icons and then just add any icons you want to use on your home screen and add the widget from widget now again with this setup as well you will have to use the wallpaper trick in order to get this transparent look and make your device look really really cool and last but not least we have this really nice setup that actually utilizes the colors of the wallpaper to actually get different colors on different elements of the home screen so you can see we have purple icons right here and we have a widget which is half blue and the other half is actually yellow this is pretty cool so you apply this wallpaper which of course will be linked right down below in the description of the video then you can add this uh, this uh, widget right here from the mojo app which will be linked down below in the description once you add the the widget just go to edit the widget and enable transparency and you're good to go it will basically turn the widget into a transparent widget and then you add your icons here you can add a row or two how many we want and then just go to customize here make sure you use the clear icons and disable the tint here use the larger icons and there you go you have this really nice really clean looking home screen setup so that's basically it for this video guys these are some really cool setups that you can create right now on your ios 26 device everything that you need will be linked right down below in the description of the video thank you for watching leave a like if you enjoyed it and i'll see you on the next one